So, as many of you probably know by now, uh, a double tragedy this this past week or two. First, I can't say what I want to say because YouTube has got a microscope on this channel, guys. So, if I want to remain here, we have to be very careful with our words. So, I'm going to call a certain organization Mr. A. Capital letters. You, oh, you're with me. Okay. A prominent Mr. A, activist, lawyer, member of the National uh, Coalition for Men, uh, was murdered in California. Mark Angelucci. Mark appeared in the, in the movie The RP by Cassie J. And uh, I'm looking around the internet on a lot of these news stories. Of, well, this controversial documentary, The RP. Uh, the only people who found any controversy in that particular film were the F-word people because Cassie J exposed that men do have issues in the United States. Not all men are privileged with a sack of goodies given to us because we're men. There are issues that should be brought to the fore. For example, divorce court, uh, child custody, uh, various other things, right? So Mark Angelucci was in the RP documentary. And if you haven't seen it, uh, you can find it on the internet, cost you, you know, five bucks or whatever to, to watch it. And if you're cheap, you can go to Cassie J's website. You can get some, um, some interviews and such that weren't included in the film itself. And I believe Mark was a part of one of these interviews. So the scenario is this, a man dressed in a delivery outfit went to Mark's house in California, claiming that he had a package for Mark. Well, his roommate answered the door and uh, the guy apparently asked him, are you Mark? And he said, no, uh, but I can take the package. He goes, no, 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 no. I've got to have Mark. He's got to sign for the pa I mean, this, nothing that unusual, right? Sometimes you have to sign for a package and whatever. So this guy was dressed in his uniform. And as soon as Mark came to the door, he murdered him. The same scenario happened in New Jersey, North Brunswick, very familiar with North, North Brunswick, actually, where a federal judge, her husband and her son were attacked in exactly the same manner. You know, the delivery guy suit, the package, come to the door, I have a package mid-afternoon, so it kind of looked like it might have been legit. The 20-year-old son of the judge answered the door and was killed immediately by gunshots through his heart. 20-year-old man. And this guy shot up the husband of the judge. Fortunately, the judge was in the basement, so she was not injured. And her husband is expected to recover, but her son, 20-year-old guy, it was the same person, it turns out. The FBI has confirmed that Roy Den Hollander is the murderer in both cases. Now, fortunately, this guy did the taxpayers a favor by doing a taxpayer relief shot. They found this guy uh, after he did himself in. There, there was paraphernalia, there was documentation, there were pictures and packages allegedly used in these killings. And he had the image of another judge in New York, another female, it turns out that it appears he was on his way to do more nefarious shit. So what do we know about Roy Den Hollander? Well, Den Hollander was a Mr. A, allegedly. This guy was so toxic that Harry Crouch, who is one of the leaders of the National Coalition for Men, kicked him out because he threatened him and him and Angelucci had a beef about the Selective Service case that uh, was actually found unconstitutional on appeal right now. And he had a beef with the judge, Esther Salas, because he went before her in a couple of cases and whatever. And the guy was a frigging crazy person. So rest in peace, Mark Angelucci and the son of Judge Esther Salas. 
What is the media trying to do, though, guys? They're trying to tie everyone who is a Mr. A into this nut job crazy person. I've read stories in Salon, Amanda Marcotte, of course, it's natural for her. But in other places, you know, the controversial, the RP documentary, and so on and so forth, this guy was involved in that particular thing. They bring up ER, they bring up some of these other weirdos that went out and did bad things and claimed they were a Mr. A. This is not the case. You see, this is another instance where, well, the current situation that we really can't talk about, a very, very few instances of these bad cops and whatever doing what they do, they say all cops are bad. Here we have one particular nut job, and now they're going to try to say that all Mr. A's are bad. They're evil. They're toxic. They're terrorists in waiting. Absolute nonsense. But that is the way the media is going to spin this thing. And they're spinning like crazy. Calling him an anti-F person might be a fair description, but being anti-F person does not mean you're against women's rights. You see, another conflation. Well, if you're against that, you're obviously against women having rights. Uh, no. No. Just like the MLB movement. If you're against that movement, you're obviously in favor of X, Y, and Z. You know the freaking story, right? People who can think this through. No, this is a Marxist set of movements. And their stated goal on their website is to overturn the current situation in the United States with respect to anyone. Patriarchy. What does that mean to a... F-word person, that means capitalism. Now, if you haven't figured that one out yet, guys, do a little research. <laughs> they keep talking about the patriarchy, the uh, systemic oppression, the systemic this, the systemic that. What do they want? They want to tear down the system, which is capitalism, meritocracy etc. and so on. Equal opportunity, but not equal outcome. That's not what they want. These movements always have to have enemies. They cannot exist without... Now, we know all lowercase w people, especially men, are the general enemy that everybody uh, hates at the moment. But what it comes down to is, in reality, capitalism. They don't like it. They don't want it. Now we have our frigging Congress going to put into effect essentially universal basic income. Everybody gets a chunk of change from the government. Where are you going to get the money? Well, we're just going to tax those rich people. <laughs> it's always the same fucking story. Universal basic income is a way to buy votes. And what politician who comes out and says, once this thing is implemented, we, we can't have this because it's going to you know, make us broken. Well, you're evil. You're a, you're a German-type person from the 1930s. You're a misogynist. You hate, etc., so on. We know the freaking game. This is not hidden. It's right out in the open to see. All you got to do is look at any big government program and those who might say, well, maybe we should look into that. You are evil and you hate people. Social Security, Obamacare, etc. Once a big government program like Universal Basic Income is in effect, it will never go away. It's not a camel nose in the tent. It's the whole fucking camel. And you're going to like it. You let this shit go on, people. This beautiful experiment, flawed as it has been, the United States of America, we're done. So rest in peace, Mark Angelucci. And the 20-year-old son of the judge who was murdered by a complete and utter nut job. And don't let these people, these media, say, well, he's a Mr. A. All Mr. A's are like that. Bullshit. Push back. That is not the case. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.